Oh, 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 oh. Almost had a fumble. What it do, y'all? What it do? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday evening. Caden, what it do? If you're just now tuned in, like I say, I hate cooking for strangers. Not that I hate it, but I feel a little bit more comfortable if I know who I'm cooking for. So let me know where you tuned in from. I'm out here in Texas right now, but let me know where you're watching from before I get into this recipe for tonight, because we're making a couple things tonight. Honey Mellow, what it do? Let me know where you're watching from. Put your city, put your state, country. What's up, Sweet 1265, Texas, ATL, GA. I see y'all. V Virginia Beach. Kilgore, Texas, Florida, Yay area up in here, Bakersfield, Maryland, Dallas, North CAC, my guy H Money Bags, Best Barber in ATL. Go check him out over at Silver Star Barber Shop off of Auburn Avenue, right across the street from Ebenezer Baptist Church. He'll get you right, he'll get you tight. Go see him. All right, y'all, San Diego, Bloomington, Indiana, the 313, I see y'all. All right, much love to y'all, each and every one of y'all. So we're gonna do a couple things tonight. I know I usually cook fried chicken and steaks and ribs and all that, but tonight we're gonna keep it a little bit light, all right? So ladies, you're gonna love this one. Fellas, if you're trying to get that down a little bit, you're gonna love this one too. So listen, roasted tomato basil soup. All right, you don't need a can for this. You don't need to go to Panera Bread. You don't need none of that, all right? All day, H, you know you're my guy. Arizona, I see you. If you just not tuned in, I'm about to go over the recipe for the roasted tomato basil soup. Stay tuned. So easy, you're gonna love it, all right? So ingredients, of course, for this tomato soup, you're gonna need tomatoes, all right? I got a little mix of some Roma and some cherry tomatoes, all right? Texas, I see you. If you're just not tuned in, I'm live in Texas right now. I don't like cooking for strangers. Put your city, put your state, put your country in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from. I got two jalapeno peppers, two red onion. I said it's roasted tomato basil soup, so I got some basil too as well. Louisiana, Oregon, Philippines, we're international. Chicago, H-Town, that's where I'm at. Atlanta, Cali, Texas, VA, Ohio. Virginia deep up in here. Oakland's deep up in here tonight. I see y'all. Texas definitely deep up in here. Tampa, I see you. Nevada, VA, Austin, AZ, Newark, Ohio, Wisconsin. All right, y'all. Roasted tomato basil soup. So that's literally all you need for the soup is tomatoes, jalapenos, onions, basil. We're going to also need a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And then we're going to need... Some of my Uncle Dibs BB salt free. All flavor, no salt. You can get this seasoning because it is Prime Day, ain't it? Who got Amazon Prime? Go to my site, UncleDibs.com. You can get this seasoning for 35% off during this live. Use the code PRIME35. PRIME35, all right? So, the first thing we're gonna do, this is so simple. You're gonna want to get you an oven safe dish just like this, all right? You're gonna set your oven to 480 degrees, okay? 480 degrees. And then you're gonna put all those veggies right in your dish. So the tomatoes, right up in there. The jalapenos, right in there. If you don't like it spicy, leave them out, all right? You're gonna throw that basil also right in there, okay? I am gonna cut, where my knife at? There we go. I am going to cut these onions because these are some big ass onions. So I am going to cut them, but I'm leaving the skin on. Don't worry, it falls right off, all right? You don't have to worry about a thing, okay? I wouldn't show you anything I want to do in my own kitchen, okay? Onion right in there, I got two of them. And this is just going to have a better balance so you're not just getting straight tomatoes. That onion balances out the soup perfectly, all right? If you don't like onions, I don't know what to tell you. You can use white onions if you want. 
but red onions are perfect for this. This is a great, just straight veggie soup. And you don't just have to have soup when you're sick or when it's cold outside. Soup is good just to open you up. It can get you full. It gets the job done. And you know in these times right now, where when it comes down to it, it's expensive outside. So you want something like a soup that can last you throughout the week, get everything you need all in a bowl. And then when you top it or combine it with a little bit of grilled cheese, or you can even put a little bit of rice in there. I'm gonna show you all how to make rice my way tonight too as well. You're good to go. All right, so this is what the dish looks like, y'all. Just like this, all right? Tamika, you see that? You already know. So next thing you're gonna do, make sure y'all can see, you're gonna hit that thing with some extra virgin olive oil. Don't be shy with it, all right? Because this is really going in that hot oven right now. Remember, the oven's at 480. And then we're gonna top it off with that BB salt free blend, which you can get at UncleDibs.com. I made this seasoning for my mother who had some health issues a couple years ago. So I wanted to make something for her, so I named this after her. It has all the flavor you need without salt, okay? And you can even use it if you want salt, you can just add a little pinch of salt afterwards, okay, as, as like a little finisher. And also 20% of each sale of this seasoning goes to the American Heart Association at the end of the month. So you can get this seasoning at UncleDibs.com. Use that code PRIME35. I'm still gonna give 20% 20, uh, 20 to the American Heart Association, but use that code PRIME25, I mean 35, for 35% off at UncleDibs.com, y'all, all right? The link is in my bio. So this is what it looks like before it goes in the oven. Just like that. Roasted tomato basil soup. We're gonna see this in 30 minutes. So you're gonna cover it, 480, right in the oven, all right? Now we're gonna get to work on some other things while this is cooking. Woo wee, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. 30 minutes. All right, so we're good to go. Any questions about that so far? Any questions so far? Any questions, any questions? Any questions about the dish? Any questions for me? Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. I gotta get that out. I forgot one of the main ingredients, y'all. I am tripping. Come here, come here, come here. You're gonna wanna put some garlic cloves in there, okay? Don't forget the garlic, all right? Now we can go back in the oven. It's okay to make mistakes, just catch them. It's okay to make mistakes, y'all. Man, it's hot in there. All right, did you leave the seeds? Yes, I left the, I left the seeds. KK, I appreciate that. So, like I said before, if you do not want the soup to be spicy, because when I'm having soup, I like, to, I like it to open me up. I like it to clear my sinuses. I like to sweat a little bit. But if you do not want it spicy, leave the jalapenos out. You don't need them in there. Okay, or if you just want to use one or if you want to cut one in half and put it in there, that's cool. So, like I say all the time, your kitchen, your rules. All right. I like it spicy. So that's how I'm making it. All right. What's good, OG? Long time. What's on the menu? Steph, we're making roasted tomato basil soup. We got it in the oven right now at 480 for 30 minutes. I got tomato, I got cherry tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, I've got basil, I've got garlic that I almost forgot to put in there, but I remembered. Uh, what else I got in there? I got onions, red onion, and I got, for seasoning, that BB salt free seasoning. And for Prime Day, I'm doing my own Prime Day sale. Use that code PRIME35 for 35% off all my seasonings, all right? At UncleDibs.com. Hit that follow button, y'all. Appreciate the love. Hit that follow button, hit that like and share button, y'all. Just cooking some good food here on a Tuesday. All right, so on my live last week, a lot of people were asking me, because uh, I made some fried chicken, they were asking me what I was gonna have with it. They were asking about uh, veggies, they were asking about rice, and someone really wanted to know how to cook some rice. So while this is in the oven, the soup is roasting right now, 
I'm going to show you how I cook rice, okay? I'm going to show you how I cook rice. All right, y'all. So right here I have some basmati rice, okay? Matter of fact, I want you to put whatever your favorite rice is in the comments. I'm using basmati, but if you like jasmine, yellow, uh, what other kind of rice is there? Uh, regular plain old white rice. Let me know what your favorite rice is. What is the most spicy seasoning I have? That's gonna be my jerk nice spice, which I don't have on hand. Actually, I might have it up here. I'm tripping. Where that jerk at? Yeah, I think I used the last of my jerk over the weekend. But my jerk nice spice, which is available at UncleDibs.com, it has scotch bonnet pepper in there. So that's what makes it real spicy. But I love that spice. All right. Uncle Ben's, Cal Rose, Jasmine. Okay, so no matter what rice you like, you can use this. I don't even want to call it a recipe. You can use this process, all right? So what I have here, like I said, is basmati rice. What I did, I took three cups of rice and I washed it three times. So basically all you gotta do is go over to the sink. You can even use the same pot that you're gonna cook the rice in. All you're gonna do is rinse that rice. So you're gonna take that rice, lay water over it, make sure it's totally submerged and just move it around with your hand, okay? My hands are clean, so we don't got no reason to scream, all right? You gotta move it around with your hands like this, and then you're gonna drain the water out, and you're gonna do that process three times. After that third time, you're gonna co cover your rice completely with water, and you're gonna let that soak for at least an hour, all right? Now, I know like people like stuff quick and instant rice. If you're an instant rice type of person, this ain't for you. But if you want that nice, fluffy rice, without that mushy mashed potato rice or that hard, like the rice ain't even been cooked, this is the perfect way to do it, y'all. Some things take time, all right? And perfection is one of them, all right? And this is perfect rice. So this rice here has been chilling. I didn't do an hour, but I definitely did about 30 minutes because I thought of this like last second. I was like, okay, well, what am I gonna do while the tomatoes and all that is roasted in the oven? So I said, you know what, let me do some rice. So this right here is the water for the rice. And this is a little trick. You can either use measurements if you want to, but the trick I like to use is to stick my hand right in the rice. And I'm looking for the water to come like right below my big knuckles right here. Not the knuckles on your fingers, but the knuckles on your hand. You want it to be like just touching the bottom of that. That's enough water for your rice, all right? So I'm gonna add just a little bit more water because it, it can come up just a little bit more. But three cups of rice, rinse three times, let it soak in water for at least an hour, and then do the knuckle trick for as much water as you need. So I'm just adding a little bit of water right now. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn my burner on, and I'm gonna let this co to come to a boil, uncovered. Let this come to a boil, all right? Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna cover it for 10 minutes on high. Once 10 minutes is over with, I'm gonna cut it down to low, okay? For five minutes. Once five minutes is over with, I'm gonna cut it off. But that whole time, that whole time, this lid is gonna stay right there on that rice, okay? right there on that rice, all right? So matter of fact, while that's doing that, you can't have tomato soup without having grilled cheese, right? What kind of, what kind of cheese do y'all like on your grilled cheese? Do you like that old school American? You like cheddar? Do you get fancy with it? What kind of cheese do you like? Cause I got all kinds of cheese, but I'm gonna let y'all pick the cheese, all right? Matter of fact, I'm gonna move this rice to this burner cause I'm, I'm gonna make this grilled cheese while we waiting. There we go. So the, the rice is over there, y'all. And matter of fact, let me grab this cause it's almost grilled cheese time. 
Cheddar Sharp, Swiss, old school American, smoked Gouda. All right, dog, you're a little fancy over there. Gouda, American with a sprinkle of parm. A sprinkle of parm. See, I like that. I like that. That's how you make it your own. Pepper Jack. A lot of people said Pepper Jack, old school American, goat cheese, smoked cheddar. All right, y'all. Y'all some cheese experts. That's for damn sure, I'll tell you that. But guess what? I'm going old school American today, y'all. But I'm using wheat bread instead of sourdough or white, okay? Who know about these? I don't care what's happened in life. I don't care what's going on in the country. I don't care what's going on in the world. This has never failed you. These have never failed you. No, with everything that's changed, the McDonald's menu has changed, prices have changed. This right here, it's like genuine. It's the same OG or the same old cheese. Two slices of that. I'm using also unsalted butter, okay? And you want your butter, look at this little gift back right here, see this? See, I can press that little indention right there. You want it to come to a little bit like a room temperature, all right? You don't wanna put that cold butter on your grilled cheese, that's a, that's a no-go, okay? That's a no-go. And then, you know, I didn't wanna buy a whole loaf of bread so they had these, uh, half wheat uh, loaves of bread. And you know, I like wheat, but you know, I'm gonna tell you what my favorite wheat bread is and I can't ever find it anywhere. And, and this is the only place where wheat bread tastes like it does. It's Cheesecake Factory. Thank you, Rose, I appreciate that. Yep, carry gold, you already know. A Little bit more expensive, but you get what you pay for. Cheesecake Factory wheat bread. Listen, this, this is the thing at Cheesecake. And I probably haven't been to Cheesecake since before the pandemic. I might need to go there. The happy hour is off the chain. But Cheesecake Factory, they put them that bread out there. By the time you get your appetizer, you full. By the time you get your appetizer, you already full because you're going ham on that Cheesecake Factory uh, wheat bread. Does, does anybody know what I'm talking about right now, or is it just me? All right. It's two slices. Wheat bread, all right? So like I said, we got the soup. I got my rice over there doing this thing. So I'm going to cut a couple tablespoons of butter. Put this over there. I love that back in the day, government grilled cheese. Yeah, government grilled cheese. And listen, some things, listen, we might got a little bit more money now, but some things just don't change. You know, just like sometimes I like to have a bowl of cereal in the morning. I could go get brunch, but nothing like that snap, crackle, pop. You dig what I'm saying? If you're just not tuned in, I'm cooking right now three things i got my rice over here i got my veggies for my roasted tomato basil soup and now i'm gonna make a grilled cheese as a little slight slight appetizer slash side for this grilled cheese all right so boom two pieces this is simple you can use white bread if you want but i'm using this wheat bread all right i'm gonna go ahead and prep my cheese okay so hard all you gotta do is peel that thing off. We should all know how to do this by now. This is not breaking news, all right? But also, here's a little tip though. I know I joke around. Don't pull this stuff straight out of the fridge and expect you're gonna get a good melt, okay? You want this thing to be sitting out for a little bit, not all day, not since yesterday, but if you're cooking at seven o'clock, just pull it out about six, 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 15, and you're good to go. I appreciate you copying some seasoning stuff. Hey, you might want to cop in today. 35% off code. That code is not going to be around on Friday. Use that code PRIME35 for 35% off today. So I know you want to wait till Friday, but you get that extra discount for today, all right? 
So I got my cheese like this. I like to make a little star just so it gets a good melt all around so it's just not all laid on each other. And then bam, just top it like that, all right? We're good to go, right? Simple, right? So now, I like to do a little combination of some canola oil in a non-stick skillet and then a little bit of butter. I just like that. move that all around the skillet. You don't want it too hot, but you also don't want it too cold, all right? You'll take that sandwich and drop it right on top, right there, okay? Now here's a little trick, guys. Here's a little trick because I like a little crunch. I like a little crunch to my grilled cheese. I like to take a clean cast iron skillet, one of the smaller ones, and look, lay it right there on top. That's gonna get that good sear and make sure that sandwich stays together nice and flat. I see a lot of questions. Uh, thanks for that tip, star the cheese. Yeah, simple, simple things. The little things make the big differences. What does the canola oil and butter do? Help the butter not burn? Exactly. Tasha, you must, you must be a star in the kitchen because you already know what I'm doing. Do I have a mac and cheese YouTube tutorial? Yes, I do, but guess what, Tatum? I'm gonna be doing another mac and cheese video. I'm not even capping. I, have, I actually went to the store today. I bought me some elbow mac. I got my cheese, I got my milk, I got everything. So if you're just now watching me, just now scroll, if you're not following me, hit that follow button. All I do is teach you how to cook good food at your own house. What seasoning? I didn't use any seasoning on this grilled cheese, but I did use my salt-free seasoning for this tomato soup. We got about 12, 15 more minutes on that soup, and then I'm gonna show you how it all comes together, okay? If you're just now tuned in, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know where you're viewing from. If you want to save on some good, all-natural, organic seasonings, go to UncleDibs.com. Use that code PRIME35 for 35% 35 off your seasonings today, all right? New York, Cali, Florida, Be More, Georgia. What part of Georgia? Baton Rouge, Baltimore, Savannah, GA, Memphis. Hey, Memphis. I got a seasoning for you, Memphis. That Memphis Bustin' Barbecue Rub. You need that right there. Memphis got some good barbecue. Anybody from North Carolina? Anybody from North Carolina? I got that Bustin' Barbecue Rub for you too, Carolina. And all my Texas people. I know y'all know about that good barbecue here in Texas because that's where I'm at. I got that Texas style too. Oh, I got some Atlanta people in here. Atlanta know about them strip club wings, right? Lemon pepper hot and lemon pepper mild. Get all these seasonings at UncleDibs.com. Use that code PRIME35 for 35% off, y'all. All right, y'all. So that's doing what I needed to do. My rice is starting to boil, so I'm going to cover my rice now and let that go for 10 minutes, all right? Can y'all let me know when it's 10 minutes or do I need to put an alarm on? Let me put an alarm on. Cool. It's almost time to flip that brick. I'm gonna check it just in case. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Nice and crispy how I like it. Hear that scratch right there? That's how I like it. If you don't want it so crispy, just flip it sooner. But I need that crunch. We need a Kansas City one. You know what? People from Kansas City are real sensitive about their barbecue, man. You know, I was hanging out with some people from Kansas City a couple weeks ago, and they refused to buy my seasoning because I didn't have a Kansas City variant. I was like, damn. I was like, you know what? I got to take a trip up to KC because I ain't the first time I heard that. So if you're from Kansas City, let me know the best places to go get barbecue in Kansas City. I've heard of Gates. I've heard of this one. I've heard of that one. I've heard of some new ones. I've heard of some old ones. But if you know some good places to get some barbecue in Kansas City, put them in the comments. A little burnt. Listen, I like it crispy, okay? Some people don't like 
uh, their bacon burnt. They like it a little flimsy. I like a little crisp to mine, all right? I like a little crisp. But appreciate you watching, D1V. Phoenix, I see you. Appreciate that, Casey. All right, y'all. So I'm going to put this butter over here, too, as well. I'm just going to add a little bit more butter just so the other side gets some love. Move your sandwich out the way. And then just move it right back on top of the butter. You good. Just like that. And the reason why I'm cooking a grilled cheese right now is because I got this tomato soup in the oven. I got the tomatoes, the basil, the onions, uh, the garlic, the jalapenos all roasting right now. And we're gonna make a great soup and we're gonna dunk this sandwich right up in there, okay? I miss barbecue from Nick's in Port Arthur. I need to go check that out. I actually never been to Port Arthur. I need to go check that out. All right, y'all. My sandwich is exactly how I need it to be. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna plate this right now and let this cool out, all right? This is, when I say I want a grilled cheese, this is how, this is what the hell I want. Just like this, all right? Nice and crispy. You don't like it crispy? Do your thing. As I always say, your kitchen, your rules, all right? Anybody want one? Let me know in the comments if you want one. I'll make you one right now. Just make sure your TikTok is updated so you can get it, okay? You gotta get that new TikTok update so I can share food, okay? So we're gonna hold this, all right? We're gonna hold this. I'm gonna hold that for you right there, all right? I'm gonna hold that for you, okay. I see y'all, I see y'all. Coming on over, okay, I got you, I got you. I'm gonna make a couple of more. I only got eight more pieces of bread, but I'm gonna make 20 more sandwiches out of them, all right? So I'm gonna, we're gonna have to split some, okay? We're gonna have to split some, is that cool? We're gonna have to go split some, all right? Just like they had to, the kids had to split that McDonald's, you know what I mean? Take it back. Hey, D, listen, we all make mistakes, brother. It's all good. Still love, all right? So here's another little tip, too. While you're cooking and you're waiting for things to cook, instead of just sitting there and hopping on your phone or whatever, clean up. This is the perfect time to do some cleanup. This is the perfect time to wash off stuff, to throw away stuff, to move some stuff around so that you don't have to be doing all that stuff at the end, okay? So just clean up, just clean up, all right? Rinse some stuff off. Throw some stuff out. It's the perfect time to do it. Wipe some stuff down, you guys understand what I'm saying? The perfect time to do it, okay? Perfect time to do it. All right, so when this soup comes out of the oven, or these veggies, come out of the oven, how are we gonna make it soup? It's roasted veggies, how do we make that soup? I'm gonna use a whole can of coconut milk. Some people don't like coconut milk, some people don't have coconut milk, but if you wanna use coconut milk, this is a perfect, perfect, perfect brand to use. But if you don't wanna use it, you can also use heavy cream as well. It's on you, okay? One can of that. You could also use veggie stock, I have chicken stock. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pour this coconut milk in first, and then I'm gonna pour the chicken stock in this can to get any excess milk that hasn't dripped off. Fill that up, pour that in as well. Then, there's two ways you can do this, okay? You can either use a blender, pour those veggies in that blender and mix them all up, or, you can get you one of these, a hand blender, okay? Which comes with a, uh, where's my extension at? That's one thing I need to know. I need a sous chef so I can keep up with everything that I need. Okay, here we go. Just gonna lock in like this. You can get this straight from Amazon, y'all. I'm riding spinners. Anybody remember that song by Three Six Mafia? I'm riding spinners, I'm riding spinners. They don't stop, all right? And then we're gonna mix that on up, all right? We're gonna whip that thing on up, okay? So coconut milk and chicken stock, exactly. You can use veggie stock if you want, 
But chicken stock is cool too as well. If you're on some vegan stuff or if you don't wanna, if you're very sensitive about your diet, coconut and veggie stock is the way to go. Or you can use heavy cream and chicken stock. Either way, you're doing your thing. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so we got some people just tuned in now. You might've just finished your dinner. Your favorite show just might've went off. We're making a few things right now. We're making one roasted tomato basil soup. So each week, I like to do a different type of diet for the week, all right? Um, last, last month, I had, I had all these new barbecue blends come out, so I was eating a whole bunch of ribs and steaks and beef and pork and stuff like that. I gotta give my gut a break, all right? So last week, if you tuned in, you know I was fasting last week. That went well, I appreciate all the messages. This week, I'm doing vegetarian, all right? No meat at all. I'm not doing vegan because I'm still eating some cheese and things like that, but I'm doing vegetarian. And, and honestly, I feel great. I feel great. So in order to do that, I'm making vegetarian dishes. So I got the roasted tomato basil soup. All I did, I put the oven at 480 in a dish. I added some tomato. I added some basil. I added some uh, garlic. I added some onions. What else I put in there? Oh yeah. Olive oil in this BB salt free seasoning, all right? And you can get this seasoning plus all my other seasonings. Use the code PRIME35 for 35% off my seasonings, all right? 35% off during this live, okay? PRIME35, that's the old bottle, but this is the new one. This is the one you're gonna get, all right? Use that code today. During this live, you can get 35% off all your seasonings. I got stuff for chicken. Let me know what you want to cook. Let me know what you like to cook or learn how to cook or what kind of food you want to eat. I'm going to show you a seasoning for it, okay? So other than that tomato and veggies up in there, I got some rice over here because somebody was asking about how to cook rice. How do I cook rice? So I got my rice going right now. I rinsed it three times. I let the rice soak. I'm using basmati rice. I let that rice soak for about... 30 minutes, if you can do an hour, do that. I got it on high right now. I got my alarm finna go off any, any second now. I got it on high for 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna put it on low for five minutes and then I'm gonna turn it off for five minutes. Cajun, that King Creole blend is what you need. That King Creole blend, all right? Lamb and goat, you're gonna need that jerk nice spice, which I forgot in the back. But the jerk nice spice, got that scotch bonnet, got that all spice all up in there. And then also that Texas steak rub for that lamb, bussin'. Or you could just use the jerk for both, bussin'. For pizza, I just did this earlier today. You can use some of that straight drop rub. Got everything you need, all purpose, a little bit of oregano will set that pizza off, all right? If you like wings, I got plenty of things, including my Atlanta lemon peppers, hot and mild, all right? All natural, y'all, all natural. I want you to look at some of those seasonings that you might have at your house and look at the label. And it sounds like you're doing a science project, all right? Some of those, some of those uh, things you don't even know how to say them, they're spelled so crazy. So when that comes down, when that comes down, you don't want that in your system. You want all natural. So like, when I look at my straight drop or uh, for example, and I look to see what's in here, sea salt, garlic, Paprika, turmeric, like when it comes down to it, this is all natural. This is all natural. Shelf life, spices do not expire when they're all natural. All right, my alarm is going off. So now I'm gonna take that rice, it's on high heat. I'm not gonna take the cover off, I'm gonna turn it to low heat. I'm gonna rock that for five minutes, all right? Five minutes, so. Set alarm for five minutes. I set your alarm for 7.50 p.m. Boom. Okay, shelf life, they don't expire, okay? So they're good for five years plus, all right? Five years plus. Buying some seasonings, what should I start with? You should start with that variety pack. You're gonna get my lemon pepper, my Texas steak rub, my straight drop rub, and then you're gonna also get my Dirty Bird Rub, all right? That's a four pack that you can get as a starter pack. It's, it's my, my best seller, all right? That's the best thing you should get. Use that code PRIME35 for 35% off. All right, y'all, the soup's almost ready. The rice is almost done. 
I got my grilled cheese over here chilling. We got more about two more minutes on this soup. So before I take this soup out, I'm gonna be real busy. Stuff's gonna be splashing and everything. So any more questions before I take this soup out because we about to get real cranked up here in a minute. Just gonna open up this coconut milk for the soup. Not fresh coconut milk, but it'll do, okay? And, and I don't mean fresh that it's stale. I mean, it's not coming straight out of a coconut. God is good all the time. Amen, Norman. Do I have a St. Louis seasoning? Let me ask you all this. What is the biggest difference between Kansas City barbecue and St. Louis barbecue? Because I've had St. Louis barbecue. I've actually never been to Kansas City. So I need to know. Where my Kansas City people at? Where my St. Louis people at? Because I, I got questions. I need to come up to... Missouri and Kansas pretty soon because well, it's Kansas City, Missouri, right? And St. Louis, Missouri. So I don't need to go to Kansas. So I just need to go to Missouri. No question. Vinegar or rubs? Um, really the rubs. Really the rubs. Like the seasoning. Which one is sweet? Is it, is it Kansas City or St. Louis? I don't know. I, don't, I, can't really, I can't really tell you about it. I think the last time I had St. Louis barbecue, it wasn't really that saucy. So I don't know what if KC is the opposite, but I'm not about to make a seasoning about something I'm not really that well versed in. You know what I mean? So this, the, the, the barbecue rubs that I made, I'm going to tell you why I made them. Carolina, that's where all my family's from. Kansas City is sweet. Okay, Carolina. I made that, that's where my family's from. That's what I grew up on, on summers going back home. Texas, this is where I live, okay? This is where I live, all right? That's why I made that one. Memphis, I spent a lot of time in Memphis back in my previous days, all right? Memphis got some good food all around, but the barbecue is busting. So when it comes down to it, that's why I made that, all right? All right, y'all, it's about that moment of truth. It's time to take these veggies out. I appreciate all y'all that have stuck with me and are ready to see this product come together. It is time, y'all. I'm gonna turn this oven off. Turn the timer off. Let's pull this thing out. It is hot, y'all. And I smell those jalapenos that I put in there too. All that is hitting me right now. That seasoning's hitting me, but you know what? It is so, so gonna be busting. Hot, 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 hot. Alright, y'all. You ready to see this? Can y'all see this? Alright, here we go. Three, two. Hey dog, KRC, I appreciate you, Shotty. But let's see what we're doing right here. 30 minutes at 480. Okay? This is what you're looking for. You're seeing all of these, all those veggies have broke down, right? Remember those skins I was telling you about? See how they just pull off just like that? Just like that? All you gotta do is pull them things off just like that. Pull off those skins of those onions. And these things are just melting right now, okay? Just melting. And it smells absolutely amazing, y'all. This is gonna be the best soup ever. Watch this, watch this, all right? So next, before we get to moving and grooving, all right, so that's my timer for my rice. So now, I'm gonna turn it completely off, still got it covered, I'm gonna let that ride for another five minutes, all right? So I don't even need to touch it. So while that's cooling off, I'm gonna grab some scissors and those jalapenos that I put in there, I'm just gonna cut the stems off, okay? because we don't want the stems in our soup, okay? So just gonna cut those off and discard those, okay? So I only had two jalapenos in there, so I only need to do that twice, okay? Y'all with me? I'm gonna grab that right there. Everything else is good to go, okay? So now, what we're gonna do, who was paying attention in class earlier? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this chicken stock ready. We got 
our coconut milk all ready to go and we're going to toss that right up in there okay i think a little bit got on my face but that's how it goes man if you're going to get in the kitchen if you're scared to get dirty stay out the kitchen then with that same can i'm just going to fill that up with chicken stock i'm not afraid of the jalapeno man i'm not afraid of anything i am afraid of that uh that ghost pepper though that's why I ain't put it in there. All right. Can full of veggie stock. Put that right up in there, okay? So now, it's time to break this thing on down, all right? It's gonna get a little bit messy, but hey, like I said, you in the kitchen, sometime it get messy, okay? So you're gonna break all this stuff down and blend it on up, all right? You can do this in a blender if you want to do this more economically. But I like doing like this because I just like seeing everything get broken down, just like this. So first, I'm just taking some of those bigger vegetables and just breaking them down. I'm taking the jalapenos, the onions, the tomatoes, the garlic. I'm just hitting them one by one until they're all broken down. I got this, uh, it's KitchenAid, and I got this on Amazon, if you're wondering. But I'm sure they got it at Target or any of the other stores too, okay? So I'm just working my way around, one by one. It's almost kind of like mowing the grass. Oh yeah, so while we're doing this right here, any, any negative or uh, toxic behavior on my lives, trust me. I know you think you're cute, but you're not. Because the real, the real deal about it is, I don't even get mad. I used to get mad because, you know, I'm not used to this stuff. But none of these people would step to me in real life. I'm 6'3", 300 plus. All right, there's a reason why they wait till I get online to do that type, type of trolling and everything like that. So. I have only one rule in my life, really two, two rules. One is your kitchen, your rules. And the other one is no toxic behavior. All right, the world is too crazy for all this stuff that's going on in the world. I'm just out here cooking some food. No need for all that toxic behavior. Keep that over there, you understand what I'm saying? So once all those vegetables get broken down, all you gotta do is just give it a nice mix around the world, just like this. And you didn't, we didn't use any canned soup, no microwave soup, nothing like that. If you like it a little bit chunkier, then you don't have to blend as much. If you want it nice and smooth, just keep on blending, all right? And it's gonna nice and thicken up, and it's gonna be the best soup you ever had. That's right, that's right, that's right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Any questions so far? Amanda, you're learning a lot. I wanna see you make this, Amanda. Renee, you're learning. Shout out to you. Miami, Florida, that's my second home. That's where my family live right now. That's where I moved to Texas from. So shout out to the 305, Day County and all the way up to Broward County. The soup is called roasted tomato basil soup. I'm gonna go over the whole process for you once I get me a bowl, all right? And this is the freshest way to make soup. And you don't need to wait till you're sick to, make, to have soup. You can have this whenever you want, all right? And if you don't have one of these blenders or these uh, hand blenders right here, you can put this in a regular blender that you may have, that you make your smoothies in or whatever, just put the veggies in there. And just hit that button and you'll be good to go. But I like to do it like this. Just kind of gets it a little bit done a lot better. All right, y'all. I think we're good on that. Let's check on this rice. There 
Did I tell you I was going to show you how to make perfect rice? Look at that. Hot. So listen, I didn't add spinach, but I did add basil. But you can add spinach if you want to. I used four. All right, let, let me just let's just start over. All right. First and foremost, this recipe for the soup is available on UncleDibs.com. Or just follow me. I got the whole video from start to front right on my page. But go to UncleDibs.com. I got plenty of recipes up there, including this soup. Alaska, I see you. I know. Is, is, it, cold in, is it cold in Alaska right now? Or it should, be, uh, it should be pretty hot, right? All right. So this roasted tomato basil soup. I took about four Roma tomatoes, which are the bigger tomatoes, um, about, I want to say, a pound and a half of cherry tomatoes, some fresh basil, about 10 cloves of garlic, two red onions, two jalapenos. I put that all in this dish. I seasoned it with my Uncle Dibs BB Salt Free which you can get from UncleDibs.com. Use that code PRIME35 for 35% off today during this live. And then I just hit it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I covered it like this. Veggies though, not soup. I covered it like this, put it in the oven, 30 minutes at 480 degrees, okay? So with that being said, much cooler today. Hey, I could use some of that cool. It was like 105 in Houston today, so I could use some of that coolness, all right? Once it's done, take it out the oven, cut the stems of the jalapenos, take the skin of the onion off, and then use that blender, the hand blender you saw me using. You're gonna add one can of coconut milk. If you don't wanna use coconut milk, then use heavy cream. And then some veggie stock, the same amount, equal parts. Put that in there and just give it a nice mix. You can do that also in a blender too if you want. All right, yes it is a Dutch oven. All right, so that's the soup. For this beautiful, well-mastered, easy rice, all I did was soak my rice for 30 minutes prior to me cooking it, washed it three times, then soaked it for 30 minutes. Then I took this rice, I boiled it. As soon as it got to a boil, I covered it. I covered this, okay? 10 minutes on, on high, after 10 minutes, turn it down to low. Do not open and close it. Keep it closed, all right? Five minutes on low and then five minutes off. And that's the final product right there, okay? And in, the, in between time and the meantime, I also made a grilled cheese sandwich as well with wheat bread and two slices of good old American cheese. So y'all, y'all ready to eat? Y'all ready to eat? Like I said, any, any negative or toxic behavior in my life, I will show you the exit, all right? Have a good night. Just on here cooking. Is, is, there any, is there any reason to get mad at watching the black man cook? Casey, that's honestly the reason why I learned how to cook rice because I always made rice. It would either come out too mushy, it would come out too hard, it would always come out not right. So I wanted to learn how to cook it. I learned that method. My rice been busting ever since. All right, so I'm gonna grab me a bowl, y'all. I'm gonna grab y'all, this is y'all's bowl too, okay? Sometimes you gotta fight with your utensils, you know what I mean? Cause they mad that I don't use them a lot cause I ain't, can't remember the last time I made some soup. All right, y'all, so I'm about to, look at this soup right here, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. And it smells amazing too. Scratch your phone and sniff it. You'll be able to smell what I'm cooking right now. Tick tock. That's a nice, that's a nice size amount right there. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna top it with a basil leaf. Just like this. That's what y'all want? Y'all see me now? Can y'all smell that? Smell your phone right now. Scratch your phone and smell it right now. You swear you're in this kitchen. 
I'm about to cut my grilled cheese because I'm going to do some dunk action. I'm going to cut you right now. I got my grilled cheese. If I really wanted to, I could throw a little bit of rice in the soup, but I, I wanted to just taste the soup how it, how it was how it was made first and foremost. All right, no grilled cheese, no rice. Let's get someone screenshot this and, and send it to me because I I, I want to remember this for the rest of the day. When I'm having a bad day this week, I want to just be able to look back at this. If you got my number, screenshot this and send it to me. All right, the brand of knife that's a hex clad knife. Shout out to Hexclad for always taking care of me. All right, y'all. First of all, thank you, Lord, for this food. About to see for the nurse from our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Do you sip soup or you eat soup? First sip? First bite? Whatever, let's do it. This thing about to be so hot. I want to dance right now. This is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm dancing right now. This makes me want a bachata. This makes me want a, this makes me want a salsa. That's good, Saudi. Yo, listen, you can do the canned soup if you want. If you want to stand in line at Panera, do your thing. But listen, anybody can make this. So, so good, y'all. But listen, I didn't come here to play games with you. I got my grilled cheese, my wheat toast, little dunk action right there on the shack side of the game. I feel like a kid again, y'all. Both things. That's good, Saudi. Listen, y'all. So easy to make, so good. And just so you saw, just to show y'all I ain't capping, I'm about to do a little bit of rice. I'm about to do a little bit of rice in the soup. Just to thicken it up, alright? See? See how fluffy that rice is, y'all? Nothing's sticking. Everything's good to go. Listen, easy, easy, easy. Throw some of that up in there. Let's see how that tastes. Let's try that. I'm a happy man. I'm a happy man. So listen, y'all. I showed you how to make rice tonight. I showed you how to do a grilled cheese Uncle Dib style. And then I also showed you how to make some fire roasted tomato soup. Only seasoning I used on everything was my BB Salt Free. What time is it now? 8.03 here in Texas. I'm gonna do 10 more minutes on that code. Go to UncleDibs.com. The link is in my bio. Use that code PRIME35 for 35% off for the next 10 minutes. The whole recipe, video, and everything to this soup that I made, including measurements, is on my site, UncleDibs.com, too, as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. I'll be back on Saturday morning with another dish. DM me what you want me to cook. Remember, I'm doing vegetarian this week, so don't send me no... Sausage and gravy or nothing like that. Send me something I can cook without any meat, all right? I appreciate everybody that showed love on the live, everybody that's following, everybody that got some seasonings tonight. Much love to each and every one of y'all. Y'all stay safe, stay blessed. Saturday morning, what time? I'm usually on about like 10, 30, 11 o'clock Texas time, all right? So based on wherever you are, that's what time I'm at, all right? Before we go, one last little, is it a bite? Is it a sip? What am I doing? That's good, shawty. Y'all be safe. Mac and cheese is on the website. All, this, all of my recipes are on my website, unclebib.com, all right? Much love to y'all. Y'all be safe.